Um, but the world has changed since then. It was 40 years ago. And now it's a strange new world. And those who have eyes and uh, can see with those eyes, and that is the essential part of religion, to have eyes and to be able to see and perceive the reality of things. When we, when we recognize the reality of the world today, and then we expose its reality, and we um, show that it, the appearance and reality are quite different from each other, then that's a shock for many people, because there are so many in the world today who have eyes and yet cannot see. And as a consequence, they, are, they respond to me with uh, shock and with discomfort. <laughs> um, and that's why there are so many uh, in the world today who have um, this particular attitude towards me, but not only to me. To all those, whether you be Christian or Jew or Hindu or Buddhist or Muslim, who seek to penetrate the reality of the world today and then to expose that reality. We become a people who are prob problematic yes. <laughs> for the rest, yes. yes. The religion of Islam is not unique in uh, recognizing that it is the Lord God who created us all and who created the human being. And when he created the human being, he breathed into the human being of his divine spirit. As a consequence of which every human being, by virtue of being a human being, possesses something divine inside of him and her, inside of him and her. That which is divine inside of us gives us the capacity to see what otherwise cannot be seen. And so, yes, it is a spiritual interpretation of the world and a spiritual interpretation of history which makes us different.